Hello. All right. You know what time it is. This is the second attempt of unboxing the Lasco All Season Tar Fan. I'm not gonna show you the top of it because there's information up there. Because this one got mailed to my house. Now, this nice fan here was supposed to arrive in a day. But nope, so many complications in a non and weather incidents happened that it was that it, it took an entire freaking what's it called week to get here. And I can't edit I can't edit videos that have already been uploaded. So here we go. Top is off. This is damaged. I didn't cut that. Let's see. Top cover. Here's the top cover. This is going off. This is more damage than I thought. And here is the heater. This is definitely wrapped tighter. This is definitely much heavier. Jesus. And boom. And there's a remote right there. Ready for us to use. Right inside the holder where it's supposed to be. Along with the instruction manual. So now, hope that's it. Let's unbox. Continue unboxing it. This is going to be a cooker review because it's being really late at night. And yeah, so we have the remote. And I actually learned in Walmart put this heater back in stock at it. Like the one I sent back, they put back on the shelf, even though it was broken. And we got to contact them about that. And they hopefully they'll take it down before someone gets get the heater. This is packed much in this tape. I don't think the tape was here the last time. We have our nice instruction manual. Oops. I don't know what. Why is he doing that? Mm, hang on. And now we got to flip this thing over and tape it back over. And now we have to do this plastic wire. And this cord was not wrapped yet. And the cord was not wrapped the same way, so this is definitely a factory model. You have this classic nightmare we have to deal with. Oh, geez, let's go stop putting plastic in it. So much plastic. Just plastic, plastic, plastic. If you really want to care about the environment. Please put like, just put no plastic. All right, and hang on. Twisty tie. Gotta untwisty tie this. And, that, and I don't think the remote, yeah, the remote didn't come with batteries. I gotta get the super wrap coil, I mean, cover off of this. And then take all of it off. And we're actually going to take that piece of plastic off the top now. Because I'm getting a bit tired of seeing it. And we got that all off. Filter shack. Nice little filters, the same from last. This one goes snap as snappy. These don't snap as snappy as the other one. Maybe if I swap them out, I will. As is. It smells like a new plastic. It'll probably burn off in one to two days of running. Uh oh, there's a risk of fire. Now, the remote, which I've been waiting for for a long time. It's just wrapped in this, it's just wrapped in this plastic that I will be keeping on for it. I really don't want to take the plastic off, but. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, and there's another plastic cover on the screen that will be there forever. Haha, -ha, never taking plastic off. There we sell triple A batteries. I'm not going to turn on the remote. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to turn on the remote just yet. We're made to turn on itself. I don't know. All right. F4, H4, our eagle thermostat. The heat, the heat here is not plugged in yet. Now we gotta plug it in, and we gotta hear that victory beep. 
And the distance is actually centered. The oscillator is actually centered too. It wasn't centered on the first one. All right, victory beep. And now let's turn it on. Here we go. All right, last mode was in heat. All right, and there it goes moving a ton of air again. Ooh, this smells really new. The other one didn't really smell new, not as new as this, but more. I can smell the newness all over the screen, all the time here. Let's take this off. Had a slight aerodynamic noise, which is not on this anymore. Just white noise. Just sounds like air moving. So it says fan three. F3 stands for fan three on the remote. You click it once, it doesn't say anything to it, just to check it. And now I'm going to turn it on fan 2. And I'm going to turn on the oscillator to make sure that works. Oscillator works perfectly. Center it. Now it's pointing some freezing cold air at me, which is not the best thing right now. So now let's turn it on heat mode. Really should click in. It's starting to feel warm yet? I don't know. Let me go see it. The coils have to burn in. I gotta burn this stuff. I gotta burn it in. Going to heat four, and then now it's hot. It has the same heating pattern. Oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely burning in. It's his first time being really warm. H four stands for heat four. I'm gonna turn on the. I'm gonna turn on the thermostat. Which uh, yep is all eco, and my experience all eco wasn't that good. The thermostat, the thermostat on the other unit was really good. And this thing has weird lights. Yep. Right, now I'm going to turn it on the thermostat. See these buttons work? Yep. So I'm going to have to set to 68, which should heat up to 70 degrees. No change in temperature. Let's see. Yep, that's about right. It is cold as a crap down here. And if I breathe next to it too much, it's going to turn up the speed. It's going to end up making it warm. Alright, new classic starting to burn off a little bit. Blowing out a ton of, a ton of heat. Beautiful heater. Stag. You know, some stag electricity or something. Air conditioner ish filters. And nice working remote. Oh, it doesn't sync perfectly, but it's a one way remote. It's not too double band, which I wish it was, but remember, it's a heater. And most air conditioners, I mean, almost every air conditioner remote I see is not double band. It just lets you know, and if you hear a beep, which is good on this unit, it means it's received a command. I love the remotes with displays on it. It reminds me of air condition. Set timer. Oh yeah, the timer's going to work too. And now it's blowing out some nice, nice heat. Alright, this is a W for Lasco. This review will, this review is a little short. There will be a much longer review tomorrow. 
So we'll wait for that. And then we review tomorrow. We we'll either be down here in, in my or in my room. It will most likely be in my room. And here's the instruction manual. This will be staying here. Yeah, that was a fail, but yeah. All right. Perfect. Braxton rating 10 out of 10. Good job redeeming yourself, Blasco. Now, I think it may have been Walmart's fault that the heater had no remote and instruction mail. But look at this. Now we got it. So, uh, never, never buying heaters or any, not buying electronics from Walmart for a little bit until I see an improvement. And Target's, Target has old heaters and stuff I don't like. So I would say stick to Amazon or other brands for now. Or just don't go to Walmart in Maryland. <laughs> Costco has some nice heaters and I think Sam's Club may have the motion heat plus in there. So let's make sure let's cool down the coils by turning the temp all the way down. The yeah, idea any below is go 58. I just want to get the coils cooled off by blowing the fan around it. shut off soon and boom now I'm going to turn off the heater and that is it and this play on the remote also turns off and now none of the buttons in the remote work is set for the on fan or the on heat and I'm going to unplug the heater and there it goes I'm also going to put the remote where it belongs in the storage and this is one of the best storage units I found on, on, on one of these Lasco heaters I see. It sits right there. It's not as snug as I want it to be, but really nice. Does it work on the back? Nope. Huh, it remembers? This remote remembers. Turn on fan three, heat four. Wow, it even remembers. Wow, this is an amazing remote. It even, uh oh, uh oh. It even remembers. I don't know if my Black & Decker remote will even remember it yet. Oh. House heat and damper just opened up. All right, so that is the short review of this, unboxing review of this. I hope to see you again in the next video. I am very satisfied with this heater. 10 out of 10. I will see you guys in the next one.